Okay, today we're going to fix the wing scapula. So we're going to show you with our model Claire here, who's our senior physio. We're going to use her to try and show you what to do to try and help your scapula move a little bit better, especially if you're one of those people whose scapula are wing or sticking out a little bit and have problems with pressing movements. So let's start with what the wing scapula is. A wing scapula is when the shoulder blade sits out a little bit, so it's not sitting flush against the rib cage. And you'll see like a little bit of a line of a shoulder blade sticking out. And sometimes you can get your, your fingers underneath the shoulder blade. So if it sticks out quite a lot like that, then you know that your shoulder blade is sitting forward. The big problem with that is the muscle underneath the shoulder blade called serratus anterior is usually not working very well. So it's not pulling the shoulder blade onto the rib cage. Sometimes there might be one different than the other, especially if you're a right hand or left hander where you've had an old injury. One might be winging, one might not be winging. Sometimes they're both. So, to try and get your shoulder blades less swinging and get your serratus anterior working a little bit better, what we'd start off with is a wall scapular press. So, we actually put your hands in. So make sure that your hands are a little bit higher than your shoulders, okay? So, trying to put a bit of weight through your hands, and what she's going to do, keeping her elbows straight or not bending, She's going to slowly let her body go towards the wall. Now this is retraction, but we call it eccentric protraction. So she's trying to control the movement into retraction. And here's the trick here, is now pushing through her hands, pushing her body away, and pushing her shoulders forward. And then you can see they flat down a little bit. So the shoulder blades are going forward, but they're flattening as they go forward. Then she holds that for a couple of seconds, and then slowly, going in towards the wall. Very important that you go in slowly until we're going to just drop into the wall because you try to control that movement and then pressing away. And if you can think about when you're pressing away, pushing the wall away from you, not pushing your body back, but pushing the wall away from you, you'll activate that serratus anterior. Like that. Okay, so going slowly in, right to that retraction, then pushing through the glass, pushing your body back, pushing away, and get that nice firm pressure there. Okay, so that's your wall scapular press. That's what I'd start with. The alternative is on the floor. So if we get clear, if we go onto the floor, we'll get her into four point, which is hands and knees. Just make sure four point, then you're straight down here with the arms, straight down with the knees, and you've got to have your core in a neutral position too. So make sure she's not too arched, too rounded in here, so she's just in that nice neutral position. Learning how to switch on your pelvic floor is important too. So if you know how to do that, switch on your pelvic floor and your core turned on to keep that stable. So it's the same movement as the wall. You're trying to slowly let your body go down to the floor this time, let your shoulders come together, and then press through your hands, push the ground away, push your body up. A lot of people though turn around as they come up. So I'll show you to show you that. So as you come up, don't round up that. Okay, you've got to keep this in a relatively stable and neutral position, same with your head, and you're just moving up the body up by pushing your shoulders forward, pushing your hands down, or pushing the ground away from you if you like. Okay? Little tip with that one, make sure your upper traps here, because we don't want, really want these working too much. Okay, we want the upper traps toned and on, but we don't want them compensating or dominating. Alright, so make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears when you do this all the time and you'll focus more on that serratus anterior. This is also really good for rotating up isometric work as well. So having that ball sitting in the, in the cuff there, having those muscles turned on in position, the weight here in position is really good. Okay? So let's just try that again. Slowly dropping down, pushing through the ground, pushing your body away, pushing right up to get a nice flat area across the back of the shoulder blades. Now, to pro progress this a little bit further, what you can do is go into four point and isometric holds. So if you go back in there, she's going to try now and attempt to raise one arm forward. So we're going to work the left side. So she's going to hold that stable and keep herself up into projection. So just push that a little bit higher, Claire. So come up a little bit higher. Then she's going to hold this one here and slowly slide the left one away. And what you're doing is learning to statically hold that shoulder blade in a nice protracted flat position. 
which works that serratus material isometrically. It builds a bit of an endurance strength. Okay? So down and up, and then sliding forward. Now she's working the right side. Make sure she doesn't drop down when you do that. And the other thing too is when you're doing quite a number of repetitions, you tend to drop the whole body down. So you've got to keep pressing away from the floor to keep that tone on in your muscles. Okay, pushing that up a little higher. Let's see that a little bit there? That's what you want to work on. So that's your beginner start phase. Then you work to one arm against the wall. So if we go back to the wall again, so coming up here, what you want to aim for is you go back to the two arm position, get yourself set up, Okay, and then you take one arm away. So now we're working just the right. Claire's put her thumb there behind so she can feel what her shoulder blade is doing. So whether it's actually winging out and she can get her finger behind it, whether it's coming in enough or not. And this is actually a relatively difficult exercise, but one of the best ones to sort out your winging left versus right. Okay, so slowly going into the wall, keeping your body square so she's not able to rotate in. And then she pushes away, pushes through the wall. And see that nice flat area here? Okay, so you know it's switching on there. The trick is slowly, essentially controlling that movement into retraction, pause for a second, and push away and get that full retraction. Okay? And with all these exercises, aim for about three or four sets of 10, maybe 12 repetitions to try and get the maximum out of the exercise. So if you look at this one, you can see she's winging a little bit more on this one. It's just that her right arm is stronger. So she will need to work hard on her left one than she does on her right. Okay, and over time that will be less of a